Whoa, a video that's not about the Xbox One? Yeah, that's right, guys. Always here to give you a break whenever the view horror videos come out. So, salutations. This is Razor here giving you guys some Mass Effect 3 multiplayer on... Uh, I forget what this map is called. I forget what enemy we're facing, but it's a bronze challenge. Because uh, I just started playing against the Geth. Alright, so... Uh, I just started playing the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer uh, about a week and a half, uh, actually maybe two weeks ago at this point, and I gotta tell you guys, I am hooked. This is some amazing multiplayer. I didn't know it was going to be this good, uh, and if you haven't tried out Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, I know a lot of you have Mass Effect, maybe you haven't tried the multiplayer, you should definitely give it a try. It is amazeballs. It's, uh... I, at first, I thought it was a uh, you know PVP uh, multiplayer, but uh, it turns out it's a you know a wave-based um, horde mode, like it in many games. But it's the best horde mode that I've seen, uh, better than you know Gears of War or uh, Halo. Actually, has a pretty darn good one. But um, this is the first horde mode that I know of that you can actually beat. Um, not that, you know, it's it's that difficult. The games are about 20 minutes long. And sometimes a little less, a little more. Uh, but give or take 20 minutes. Uh, there are 11 waves, and you have different objectives in each wave. Uh, they'll first start you off with just some enemies to kill. Um, it's either the Geth, Cerberus, uh, the, the Reapers... Or if you're in Platinum, there's the uh, Collectors. So uh, you, you're always going to be fighting uh, one of those three, or if you're really good, one of those four enemies. And they all are, have different uh, units that throw out there that you need to, uh, to take out. And each wave, you're going to have a different objective. Sometimes it's uh, eliminating specific targets, like in here. Um, they're going to be, you know, high value, difficult, you know, boss units with, you know, high shields and high health and stealth capabilities and powerful uh, weapons and such. Or uh, maybe there's one where you have to recover um, four different objects on the map, so you spread throughout there and pick them up. Uh, sometimes you all have to go to one, like uh, LZ, and just hold that for a while with all getting killed. And it's uh, it's very 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 cool. Um, I'm a huge fan of of the Mass Effect franchise, and the campaign is just some of the best out there. Um, but the multiplayer is not something that should be overlooked. I find it very 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 enjoyable and so easy to get hooked. Because once it is as you would expect, um, like if you've played the campaign, you play the games, you uh, you know you either you win or lose, you'll still get some experience points and some credits. So with experience points, you're going to level up and you use those to uh, to uh, access your powers. And there are four different uh, classes. There's uh, Engineer, which is what I am right now. I'm a Geth Engineer. I'll more on that later. There's uh, your typical Soldier. There is the Adept, which is specializes by in Biotics. There's the Sentinel, which is kind of a jack-of-all-trades kind of a class. And there's the Vanguard, which is a, a hard hit in Biotic. And there's de many, many different uh, um, units within that class. So there'll be like a human unit or a geth unit, uh, a Sari, a Salarian, Turian, Krogan, a Batarian, uh, you know, and then like different types of humans or like an Asari, uh, Justicar. It's, it's really different, really, really interesting, and the multiplayer is very, very addictive with the leveling up system. And uh, see, you get some credits, and you use those at the end of the game to buy packs, like kind of like booster packs in a card game, where you uh, will unlock uh, new weapons at complete random, or mods, aka attachments, or uh, equipment and ammo and uh, armor bonuses, which are uh, consumables that you can use for one full match. It gives you like a, an ammo bonus where you get like disruptor ammo or increased shields or increased assault rifle damage or gear bonuses, which are passive. And then there's, of course, your weapons and unlocking new characters. A complete random, of course, the more expensive packs are going to give you uh, better better stuff, but you're gonna, take more credits to get 
And uh, this class I'm using is the engineer class, which is your basic support class. This, uh, this Geth engineer just screams support and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Right now I'm in the uh, Geth hunter vision, which increases uh, movement speed and weapon damage and power damage at the cost of uh, lower shields. So, uh, you know, it's a bit of a trade-off. And if, if you're not familiar with Mass Effect or any of the jargon that I'm going to be talking about, you should definitely pick up Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. They're all pretty cheap right now, and it's, uh, it's one of the best franchises out there on any system at any time in history. It's just a really, really fantastic, expansive franchise with uh, unexpectedly really, really good multiplayer. And uh, one of the great things about uh, you know finding a new game that you like to play um, is not only playing it, but uh, you know watching YouTube commentaries over it. And no one is better than Excalizor. So you guys might know him as a fantastic Call of Duty player, but he also plays a number of other games, including the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer on the PC. And he's just a fucking master master at commentary the best co straight up core commentator at, at talking about video games there is out there as well as uh you know a master of whatever video game that he is playing so it's it's really cool to watch someone really really good at this game uh even more so than like call of duty or battlefield or uh i don't know you know name your competitive game but watching someone who's really good at Mass Effect, uh, it's like they're playing a different game than you are. Uh, I'm taking the uh, real, uh, support role, which is definitely important um, to use Overload to take down shields uh, of the enemy. You know, you get some debuffs in there, which is especially important against the Geth because a lot of them like to use shields. And uh, you got the my Geth turret right here, which uh, not only will help you know damage the uh, the opposing faction but will restore shields to any of my close by teammates as well as myself. And there's like so many different ways you can play this game with all the different weapons and the weapon mods and the, you know, you upgrade your weapons and all the different um, characters that you can play within all of the different uh, classes of character. It's really, really fun. Lots of different ways that you can play the game as well as specking your characters out with uh, different power upgrades. Uh, you can, there's just so many different ways that you can play this game and it's, uh, it's really really fun. You can have a melee heavy character with a lot of biotics or one with like a lot of defense and you know slow moving like Krogan with powerful assault rifles or you could take the scout sniper role that I am here with a uh, an assault rifle backup for situations that are real close quarters, especially for like escort drone uh, waves or, uh, you know, heavier barriers that you really need to put a lot of uh, ammo on target. But uh, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of sniping regardless of the game, whether it's Call of Duty or Battlefield or Mass Effect or... Uh, you know, Golden Eye, or you know, wh whatever, whatever the game is, I like, I like sniper rifles, and uh, Mass Effect 3 is no, no difference here. I, uh, I got my, uh, what's it, the man, uh, not the Mantis, uh, the Valiant, which is my favorite sniper from the campaign. Uh, I, d I just unlocked the Matok, which was my favorite assault rifle from the campaign. Even though I haven't tried them all yet since the DLC, uh, if you if you uh, were interested in this game. Uh, all the DLC is free with the game. You know, new weapons, new maps and stuff, and new characters, completely free. Um, there are some that you can pay for, for like, you know, weapons and such. And, such. and uh, you could also pay for like packs with some Microsoft points that are, you know, pretty decent price. Uh, but all the DLC is free, so that's really cool. It's not very often that you'll, uh, you'll see a, a multiplayer game give out free DLC, uh, you know, especially with like all the premium content that we see on like Battlefield and Call of Duty nowadays, but uh, Mass Effect uh, really, uh, they, I mean, they have a lot of DLC out for like campaign and stuff and things that if you want to pay for it, you can, but the DLC content is free and I think that's really cool. I think it's really awesome when they give you, uh, when anyone gives you free content, especially with all the uproar of like a uh, launch day DLC and all that stuff which Mass Effect 3 does has and does get some flack for some things but 
Ain't nothing wrong with some free multiplayer DLC, as you all know. So more about my class here. Uh, I just max out my shields. I'm pretty sure I'm rank 20. Uh, if you don't know, you max out at level 20, and then you can quote-unquote prestige your character. Um, I forget what the term is in this game, but that'll help you out in uh, your single player uh, galactic readiness, which is important for like getting the best ending uh, in Mass Effect if if you haven't beat the campaign, uh, which I have. Uh, so th that's also a really cool uh, addition. The only reason I actually started playing the multiplayer was for that uh, higher galactic readiness so I can make sure that I get the best ending possible in the single player campaign. Um, but once I started, I was I was hooked. It, it doesn't take very long because you want to play so you can get all the better weapons, so you can get all the different cool characters, so you can play this game in different ways and get all the upgraded guns, so you can you know play those silver challenges and gold challenges and platinum challenges, which gets you even more credits, so you can unlock more weapons and gears and mods and all that stuff. Really, really really good multiplayer i did not expect it to be this this good this expansive this fun it is uh definitely very uh not, not complicated uh because it is pretty straightforward uh you know third person cover shooter uh like waves of enemies but uh the more we play it, the more you'll understand j just how how awesome it is the enemies will have different units out there that you'll have you know different uh characters that'll be more specialized like the engineer class is really good for debuffs and what that means is like taking out shields and taking out armors and uh, lowering their defense so that they're easier to kill for you and the rest of your teammates and uh, a sniper rifle i feel just you know just works well you don't have to use a sniper uh for you know this class or any class you can use whatever weapons you want of course some weapons will be better suited for others for like a slower cooldown for your biotics maybe you just want an smg or a heavy pistol or maybe you want to take a you know a sniper roll or use a badass assault rifle. The game just gets better and better the more that you play it, with the more that you unlock and stuff. And I find it highly enjoyable. So you know if you ever want to give it a try, if you haven't you know tried the multiplayer of Mass Effect, you just uh, played it for the campaign, which is totally totally okay since it has like one of the best campaigns out there. Um, the, just don't sneeze at the fact that it has an awesome multiplayer as well with uh, just so much stuff that you can do and it's a it's a four player multiplayer in case you haven't uh, figured that out it's a it's four four man teams obviously you can go with less people than that but uh, you know it's always fun with more people I haven't found anyone that uh, plays this game that's on my friends list uh, until recently where someone just bought the game so they can play with me so uh, the easiest way for you for me to accept your friend request right now is to say hey let's play some Mass Effect together and I'll be like yeah that's what's up uh, because this game is a lot of fun I found myself playing it quite often and it's not as frustrating as your as your first person shooter multiplayers I mean it, it can be frustrating uh, your teammates will be useless at some times and you'll get cheesed or uh, you know, just totally annihilated by the uh, by the AI, which you know will happen. I'm doing a bronze challenge right now because I just started the game. Uh, I, I can do silver. Uh, I have done it, but that takes about three people who know what they're doing at least. And you can do bronze challenges with two people who are really good, who got good characters. You can do a bronze challenge with just two people. With silver, you need three people who know what they're doing. And the fourth person could either contribute or just keep on dying. I, I I don't think I'm at a point where I can do cold gold challenges without getting completely carried by people who are way 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 better than me at this point. Just because I don't have uh, the upgraded weapons uh, for those types of for those types of games. Um, so it's just it's just a lot a lot of fun, guys. You should definitely give it a try if you haven't already. Or if you just want to try out the multiplayer, I'm sure you can pick this game up at GameStop for like 20 bucks. The thing is, you do it is an EA game, so you do have to buy an online plat a pass to access the online multiplayer, full well, any online functions really, even the DLC and the campaign. But uh, it, it's definitely a lot of fun. The Geth are a very hard hitting uh, AI to go up against because of all of the uh, specialty units that they have. A lot of them have shields. Those Geth Pyros can really take you out in close quarters with those high armor flamethrowers that they carry. 
and the uh, the Reapers are really, really difficult when you've got multiple Banshees coming at you and a, a Brute, uh, you know, charging at you like they're fucking Brian Urlacher. And the uh, Cerberus, I think, is considered the easiest opponent to take on, I would say. Not to say that they won't, you know, kick your ass every now and again. But it's just a lot of fun, and as you can see here, we're in the last wave, so we're just trying to hold down this LZ, and you get more points if people are in the LZ at the end. Obviously, you can have only need one person to survive to complete it, and uh, it'll, the enemy will just throw everything that they have at you. So, Mass Effect 3 multiplayer is a lot of fun here using the, uh, the Geth Engineer that I named Uncle Bob. If you get that reference, you're awesome. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more, please let me know in the comments, and I will see you next time.